Okay, so a basic no need sourdough bread. And at the end, I'm gonna show you two ways to cook it. First way on a baking stone with a cloche over the top and the second way directly on the oven shelf using a spray water bottle. Okay, and straight into it. And if you've got any questions at all, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. So into our mixing bowl, we've got 247 grams of water and 12 grams of sea salt. Now don't worry about adding the salt before we add our starter. It's not gonna be a problem. It's not gonna kill the starter. You just wanna make sure that that salt is well dissolved in the water. Now we've got 128 grams of starter going in. I fed this last night, um, so it's been sitting out on the counter for about 12 hours and it was fed at a one to one to one ratio. So we've got 100% hydrated uh, starter going into the bowl. So obviously this has been sat out for some time and the gluten network has had a chance to develop. So it's gonna take a bit of effort, just keep stirring until you've managed to dissolve the starter all the way through the water. And now I'm adding 375 grams of plain, bulk standard, off the shelf, all purpose, white wheat flour. This isn't organic, it's not a speciality grain. You know, the purpose of this is to demonstrate that you can bake a basic loaf of bread using basic ingredients. Now you can use whatever flour you want, but I wanna take it back to its basic format just to demonstrate what's possible with easily accessible things. And remember, this is a no need bread. So no kneading, literally, we're just gonna use our hand like a claw and we're gonna bring the flour, the water and the starter together into kind of a rough shaggy mess. Just try and clean the bowl around a little bit as you go. But the purpose here isn't to knead, it's just to bring the ingredients together. And this is what you'll be left with, a bit of a shaggy mess. Get that back into a bowl, we'll cover it up with a plastic bag, and then we'll just leave it out on the surface at room temperature for about an hour or two. And here's the dough after that period. Doesn't really look any different, does it? It's only when you touch this that you're gonna realize what's changed, and all of that flour has had time to be hydrated by the water. We haven't had to do that by muscle power. It's just happened over time, which is what makes this a fantastic no-need bread. Now you can just push it out into a rough rectangle, a rough square, and then just pull the sides in on each other and form it into kind of one mass. And then don't add any flour. Resist the urge to use flour. Use that stickiness to your benefit, to your favor, and just gently turn that round and round. And what that's gonna do is, as it sticks slightly to the bench, it's gonna build the surface tension of the dough, and it's gonna give us a really nice tight ball that's manageable and easy to work with. And then we're just gonna pop that into our bowl. We're gonna cover it up again, and we're gonna leave this to bolt proof now probably for about four or five hours, but that's gonna be dependent on the temperature in your kitchen. This is what the dough looked like after about five and a half hours sitting out on my work surface. And the next stage is to get this into a shape to go into our proofing basket. Now we've just spent a lot of time that we've invested into adding gas to this dough. So the key is to be really, really gentle here. We don't wanna lose all of that air from this dough. And again, no flour on the bench whatsoever. I've pushed this out into a rough rectangle and then I'm just gently folding over the sides. It's really important to work with light fingers, with light hands here. You're gonna feel how springy the dough is. And as you're doing it, you just wanna maintain that. After you've folded all of the sides over, we're gonna leave this sitting just for two or three minutes while we dust our banneton. I'm making sure that I get the flour in all of the gaps between the ridges on this basket. It's really important that this is dusted well. We don't want that dough to stick whatsoever. So just go around, use more flour than you need to. We can brush it off afterwards. And then I like to use my finger just to push all of the flour into the gaps and make sure that I've got every single base covered. Final shape now for this dough, flip it over and we need to roll this into a rough shape that's gonna match the shape of the basket. So I'm just 
gently pulling it out. Again, we don't want to lose any of that air. And I'm going to roll it up into a sausage. And as I roll it, I'm gently pushing forward to form a little bit of a seal. And again, however you get this done, it doesn't matter. There is no specific way. You're just basically looking for a long, thick sausage shape that's going to fit in that basket. Liberally dust the top of this because we're going to turn it over. And the top of this is going to become the bottom. So again, we're just adding some more flour just to make sure it doesn't stick. And then using a bench scraper, I'm just going to work around the outside again, just to make sure it releases from the work surface easily. And then just roll it over. Gently into the banneton, cover it up, and then leave it to prove at room temperature for a couple of hours. And this is what it's going to look like. Again, it hasn't doubled in size. We're not looking for that. We're looking for something that's grown, but still retains some energy. So that when we put it into the oven, we get some real oven spring. So make sure you release the dough from the outside. I like to give it a good dusting of flour and then a swift sharp tap onto the peel and then brush off any of that excess flour. And here's the line I'm going to take with the lame. I'm going to cut into the dough confidently but not too deeply and that's going to allow it to expand in the oven to the shape we want. The oven's been preheated to 250 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put a cloche on it. It's going to cook at that for the first 20 minutes and then I'm going to reduce the temperature to 220 Celsius. I'm going to take off that cloche and here you can see how much oven spring has happened here. And that cut has allowed that bread to open beautifully. This is now going to bake for a further 20 minutes and here you can see the final result. Now the golden colour for me is perfect. Some people like a darker exterior. In that case, just leave it in the oven for a little bit longer. Overall, I'm really happy for this bake. A basic, simple sourdough bread with great structure, great shape. It's lovely and crispy on the outside and a great crumb on the inside. But what happens if you haven't got a baking stone or a cloche to put over the top? Well, you can bake it straight on the oven shelf and here it is. I've just added some parchment paper. I'm going to give it a tap out again, just clean off the flour. I'm going to mist it with some water from a spray bottle. And then I've got a stainless steel bowl there that's about a third full of cold water. Um, and that's going to go into the oven again at 250 degrees Celsius for the first 20 minutes. And then I'm going to remove the stainless steel bowl full of water, turn the oven down to 220, and then I'm just going to leave it to bake for the additional 20 minutes. And that's it. With no specialist equipment, just a basic oven and a spray bottle, we have achieved a really, really good basic bread. Again, it's got fantastic color, lovely and golden on the outside. It's beautiful and crispy. And look at that texture. You can actually see the glue and network on the top of the bread. This is a fantastic beginner's basic recipe. And again, we've got a lovely open structure. I just think this is a great all-round bread. Okay guys, as you can see, sourdough bread doesn't need to be that complicated. Get the first loaf nailed down and then phew, the sky's the limit. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, click the little bell icon to get some notifications of my future stuff and I will see you again very soon.